Hey everyone, we hope you enjoyed part one showing how to install and configure exploits. In today's video, part two, we're going to show you how to import a sequence. To get started, I opened two instances of exploits and put them side by side. From there, I will compare the layout from the vendor to our layout and I will make sure that we have similar groups and props. And in the case when I am importing something from Tom, Tom has more props than we do, and he will spend a ton of time making sure that each prop plays certain notes of a song, which makes importing his sequences a little more challenging, but it's what sets some of his work apart from some of the others. So I have additional props on the side over here that we don't actually have the prop, but it helps me to import the additional effects that he uses, and then I'll remap them to the props we do have. So to get started, I'll open up the sequence that I want to import. And then in our layout, I'll go to the sequence tab, go to file new. It's going to ask us to pick a musical sequence. We'll have to pick the audio file. And then from here, we'll need to make sure that our display elements match. The order of this is very important. And if you use the same vendor often and they use the same layout, you can save a preset up here and it will make this process a little simpler. So I'll go ahead and click on this and you can see it changed and the order matches on both sides. So we'll go ahead and go to the next step. And this is where I'm gonna start to use the new feature that they added in the new version of Exploits. So we'll go over to import, import effects. And instead of going to the already unzipped file that you need to be able to see the vendor's layout, I'm gonna go directly to the zipped folder. Go ahead and click on open. And now it's gonna bring us over to this screen. What happened in the background there is it brought over and recreated all of the shaders, video files, images, all that good stuff so you don't have to do that manually anymore. And then from here, you can start to remap everything. You can save this mapping to save you some time. So I'll click auto map. It'll map everything that it can recognize exact. So all, all, all house, all house. The things that don't match, you can do manually. In my case, I will create different groups based on the vendor I'm going to import from. So I have a whole group of Toms down here. So I'll speed this up, but this will be how I transfer these over. And then from here, we can see Tom has seven different candy canes and in our layout, I only have four. So I'll go ahead and I will start at the beginning. And now I have three that I don't have. So this is where I'll go to those props that are off to the side and I just call them whatever the prop is and then remap in the number. That way I can go back and transfer them later. So we'll go ahead and also drag this large house prop. All right, so now I've used just about all of the props I can. I don't have any moving heads, so I'll skip that section. So we'll go ahead and say, okay. In most cases, I would have saved this so that way it makes importing easier in the future. All right, so now that it is done rendering, I'll go ahead and minimize this one. All right, so if we go through and locate the candy canes that have the effects on them that we don't have, we'll be able to remap them. So right here, 
we would be able to dive in and recognize that we have props on candy cane one two and three that we need to remap if we look right here we are looking at candy cane one and my layout it doesn't have any effects with this timing so we could basically just switch this over and that will change the effect that Tom had on candy cane number five and put it on our candy cane number one. And I would basically just repeat this process all the way through with all the different props. So once we've remapped everything, then we can go through and we can render it. And then we can just test it out, make sure that it works. Alright, so now that we have checked out one from Tom, we will also do one from Exploits Around the World. So to get started, I will change the show folder. And again, I will make sure that I have the same props and overall layout. And then once we have confirmed that, we can go to sequence in the vendor section open up their sequence it's gonna again ask for the audio file and then ours will go over to new sequence select the audio file and in this case these ones are a little easier to remap so i don't have one of the presets saved for these So what I'll do is I'll go through and find all of the vendors that wouldn't apply. In this case, Tom, Visionary Light Shows, How Would I Think Tank, any of the ones that aren't going to be required to import this. Now that we have that, we can go over to import. Again, we can use this fancy new feature to bring over all of the video files and shaders. And then we can see that there is a lot less to import here, but we'll go ahead and click on auto. All right, and then from here, we can go ahead and run this. And then we should be ready to click on render. So we'll give this a quick render and then we'll check it out. So now that this is done, we can just take a look and make sure everything came over and looks right. So we have to go back and we'll have to correct the singing faces. So the singing faces that were used have a different model face than the ones that ours have. So we just have to change those. And now they are going to be singing, but they don't have any colors. So we can go and set the different colors that we want them to use. All right, so now we have the faces. Let's try this again. And just like that, we have this one ready to go. We hope these videos have been helpful. We have a few more videos to do in this series. 
If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to leave a comment. And as always, if you enjoy these videos in our channel, please subscribe so we can continue to make more videos. Thanks, and we'll see you soon.